busy Sunday. Welcome to the studio. It's Froyle here. I can't wait to show you what we're working on this week. You're going to love this. Okay, so if you've watched any other episodes of my Sunday in the studio, you'll know that I love the PM Artist Studio stencils and masks. These are the masks. I think they are called Dinged Up Donuts. And I just love the Yupo paper. I love how they're cut. I love the shape. And you'll also know that I love to use them on my collage actually as an element. So I thought today, what would happen if we painted these to use in collage? I mean, why can't we? <laughs> of course we can. So I've got some alcohol inks. And if you want to know what I'm using in any of the products of any of the episodes, always have a look underneath in the description because I'll either have the listed the website I got it from or there'll be a link there to Amazon if you want to follow through and purchase exactly what I'm using. So I'm thinking, why can't we do this? There's no reason we can't play around with these masks with a little bit of alcohol inks. That's just the alcohol straight in the spray thingy. And I'm a bit like, what would happen? I don't know is the answer at the moment. I've never actually tried this before, but I can't see why it wouldn't work. Now I've just got my little piece here on plastic because I don't want it to stick to paper. If I put paper under it, it would probably stick. So I'm just going to experiment. I'm just going to have a look and see what we could do with these fabulous masks if we threw some alcohol ink on them. Yeah, I'm loving this idea. I'll love it more if it works. <laughs> so I've got some Havana Brown, some Tangerine and a little bit of Coral. Mm, coral sounds nice. Of course, you know what we have to do next. Next, we have to pull out the bronze. And I think I've also got some copper. Let's have a go at that. Oh, yes. A little bit of metallic, baby. It always works fabulous. Now, that is just beautiful. I love the way it kind of blends and just goes into all sorts of organic shapes. If you want to add some more movement, I've got some alcohol blending solution. Let's see what that does. Now, note to self, if you want to play with this idea, make sure your surface is relatively flat. Otherwise, it's all just going to flow one way. <laughs> Oops, it isn't. And then what happens if we move it? This is Yupo paper, right? People put uh, the alcohol inks on Yupo paper all the time and it looks amazing so I can't see why this idea wouldn't work there's no reason why it wouldn't work it's going to be fabulous it's just a matter of playing with it and seeing how best to make it work but moving it around like this this is working I'm loving this what about we put drop a little bit of black in it and get a little dramatic I know you might find that hard to believe that I'm going to be dramatic the shape's pretty cool, don't you think? Yes, I do. Let's drop in a little bit of black and just get a tiny bit dramatic. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is going to be fabulous. Just love it. What happens if we blow on it and move it? That could move really nicely too. Oh, look at the black running through the brass. That's fantastic. Righto, so I'm going to play a bit more with this idea and then we're going to use these fabulous masks that will be soaked in alcohol inks in a collage. Yay! That is just beautiful. Look how amazing that looks as it moves and blends. Loving this. The shape is fabulous. This is going to work so well. It's going to be amazing. And then I'm creating these unique and beautiful collage elements for my mixed media painting. Yay! That is looking just beautiful. I love it. 
I've got a couple more to experiment with. I'm going to use the same colours and then choose which ones I like the best. And we're going to put a little collage together. Oh, man, that is just glorious. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. So you can get really dramatic, of course. <laughs> I've got some chili pepper, baby. Red hot chili peppers. <laughs> Let's go with that. A little bit of tangerine. Now, you can reactivate the alcohol inks when you... If you don't like something, just throw some more on, throw some spray on, move it around. It dries really quick and it creates the most incredibly organic shapes. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it. These are one of the off-cut bits that I have. Oh, man, yes. We'll go some real abstract design now. Okay, I have to drop in a bit of metallic brass. Look at that. I love the way it does that. Oh, that is just beautiful. I know. We'll let that dry. I just did another one just there. Yes. That is just beautiful. We'll see how they dry. I'm loving the abstract quality of them. And this is really fun. Yes, I think starting with the lightest colour is probably a really good idea because it's really easy to get dark really quick. <laughs> Especially the way I put it on. Uh, loving the drama of this black at the moment. A little bit of black on the tangerine and then a little bit of brass on top of the black. And that is just amazing. Ah! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'll let all of these little pieces dry and then we'll see what we've got for our collage. Look at this one. This is just beautiful. I mean, you can't do that again. That's the thing. They're so unique once you create them. You can't make them the same a second time, which I love that about collage pieces. That is a beautiful little collage element ready for something amazing look at them the three of them they look so cool right so my beautiful collage elements have dried up magnificently look at that that is just fabulous yes they are dry they look glorious look at the way the beautiful metallic brass has kind of pushed out to the edge that was because i sprayed it with the alcohol oh my gosh i'm loving them i think they're absolutely glorious can't wait to use them look at these pieces these are the little circle bits oh my gosh they look amazing these tiny little ones look like buttons <laughs> i'm so happy with them they turn out fabulous you can play with the alcohol ink a bit if something isn't going right, you can put a bit more alcohol or the blending solution and blow it or move it or tip it. And it does create these incredible patterns. This one was sprayed, obviously, with the spray because it's got the little fine dots. I love it. I love all of them. They're absolutely beautiful. Here's some of the more paler, lighter ones. Just glorious. Now, I'm definitely going to use them right now for collage. I'm going to use this canvas. It's 25 centimetres or 10 inches square. These are absolutely magnificent. I'm loving them. I'm loving the colours. So I've pulled out um, some of my collage papers from my box of beautiful leftovers and scraps. I've surrounded myself in some warm tones and some earthy palettes. And I'm pretty excited for this. Now, if you were watching last week, you might know that I launched my Etsy store. Yay for me. I'm so excited about it. On my Etsy store is only digital collage papers. These are glorious. This is the abstract in neutrals pack. And I'm going to use some of these papers today because I think they're going to work really well with these colors and tones that I want to use. Um, there's a few more papers in the pack, but I've pulled out these ones. 
Now I've printed these as a laser print on standard copy paper at the office supply store that I walk to. I like using the laser prints because the colors are the best and also I can put paint over it, spray it, use the matte medium and it won't bleed my images. And that makes me happy. These are all my original paintings. I love my new digital collage papers because they're instant. Hello, you can get them straight away, print them out and you've already got papers to use. Now, I'm gonna start with some of these. They may not be there in the end of my collage. I might collage right over the top, but I'm feeling that it's a great inspiration just to begin, and that's what I'm going to do. Yay! Now, I like to use matte gel medium when I use collage. It's Liquitex Basics because it's cheaper than the other brand. And I like it. I personally use it. If you don't like it and your papers wrinkle or crinkle, then use a glue stick. No drama. Although if you're wanting to glue on something a bit more substantial like my beautiful collage elements here, you're going to need some matte gel medium. Just saying. There'll be a link in the description for all of the materials. Oh, maybe not all of them. Most of the materials. And you can find more info there. So make sure you look. Righto. So... Now I just have to decide which ones I want to start with because, oh my gosh, I love them all. They're just so glamorous. And let's get this party started. So the first question is, how many of these beautiful collage elements am I going to use? Um, I mean, that already fills up the space pretty hugely. So do I want to put one in the middle and then have beautiful textured background? Do I want to put one like this? Like this is going to be pretty tough decisions to decide how I actually want to create this. How many do I want to put on? Maybe I'll put one of the big ones on this canvas and then I'll put this other big one on the other canvas because then I won't crowd this one canvas. Do I want to put this one on here? What about some of these smaller ones? Oh man, they're just beautiful. Yes, I'm loving this idea. <laughs> of course I am. Why not fill up the whole thing? So it's just a matter of deciding which ones now I want to start with. Look at these. They're just glorious. Um, That's the question. It's a tough question. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is just start. I'm going to start by covering the whole canvas in background and then decide how many of my beautiful collage elements do I want to add onto it? I think that's going to be the best way to approach this. That has to go on seriously. Oh man, that's pretty nice too. <laughs> okay. Now I know I could possibly put less of the circles on and uh, put them on some other canvases. You know, I could, it might come to that. I don't really know. This is a spontaneous and intuitive collage, and that's really how I personally like to work. I like to develop the artwork in the process of making it because it's the thrill of that creative energy that I really enjoy. And basically, I'll just keep working on it until I like it. So don't get stressed out about starting or what should you do or do I want this or that. Just jump into it, and then if you don't like it, you can change it. So I'm just cutting these pieces I don't need for this particular project, but I want some of this beautiful section there. Cut off the white and yay, we're ready to go. So what I love about working on canvas is being able to wrap the beautiful papers around the sides. It just creates another whole element to your design. Especially with beautiful soft jelly print papers. Hello. <laughs> and you can easily find pieces this size in the scrap bags. Just works so well. It looks fabulous. Yay. And this is a great start to the collage. Now, I don't know if this paper will still be seen by the time I'm finished, but 
It helps me to get started. It puts something on the canvas. Straight away, there's that fear gone of the blank staring the white in your face. And it also helps to make decisions about the composition. It's going to be like this shape and it's going to be in these beautiful tones. So I find the digital collage paper just a great way to start. Whether or not you see it at the end really doesn't matter. Now I have got so many fabulous, beautiful papers, jelly prints, uh, that it is going to be a tough decision what I'm going to use. I pulled a heap out of my scrap box. And if you saw an episode a mm, couple of weeks ago, you'll know that I have a whole ton in that scrap box <laughs> of these beautiful colours. So I'm just going to put some papers down. Um, if I don't like them as I go along, I can change them. I'm not too stressed about it because you don't know sometimes until you put the paper down if that's what you want or don't want. And sometimes even what you don't want helps you to make decisions for what you do want. So I'm just going to put some beautiful colors down in these fabulous bronze tones, and then we'll see where we're at. Pretty much just deciding as I put one piece down, I'll decide on the next piece that I wanna use, and I'll just keep covering the canvas until I have a really nice background. I think I'm going to put some of this piece on the side, like here, because I love that when you have the painting hanging on the wall, as you walk up to it, you see the side of it, and it's just really fun if you have some interesting textures, some shapes, or some writing. I like putting writing on the side because it just looks quite fun. So I'm going to put that there, and that's going to look really cool. Now, I might go over that section with something else, just remember, everything's subject to change. <laughs> now, I've got a glorious piece of this fabulous marbled momogami paper that I got from, hmm, pretty sure it was camipaper.com.au. It's an Australian store. That is going to look stunning. Look at the beautiful marbled colours in the gold and the silver and the brown. Yes. That's working, I'm doing it. Now, do I want it to stop there? Oh man, maybe. Oh, maybe I'll just wrap it around the sides. Or maybe I might stop it there. <laughs> what do you think? Shall I stop it there? Because I like the way that's coming straight down like that. I really like that. All right, I'm going to. I'm gonna have to tear it. Oh, oh breaks my heart. <laughs> but we've got to go with what's going to work best for the composition. And I'm liking that vertical line. Uh, it just makes me happy. So oh, there it is. We're going to go right up into that line just like that. And put it there. Wrap it around this side like that and down there like that. And then what are we going to do next? I don't know because this is the featured piece that I want to use. So I'm going to probably have to put something behind it so that you can see it more. And then I have to decide, am I using some of these other glorious pieces as well? Oh man, Ooh, maybe that one. So many decisions to make. So I finished putting some paper on this side. Well, I don't know if I've finished actually. I can't say that I've really finished anywhere. <laughs> but I put some more layers of paper on the sides. So, you know, that's looking all good. Now, if I'm coming back to my original idea of my beautiful uh, collage element, it's going to go like here. But I'm going to need to put layers in the behind it so that it sticks up more because it's getting lost in all of the shape and movement and texture and I want it to be transparent behind it because I want to see all my multiple layers so some of this bubble wrap tissue could work maybe I'll start with that I don't really know if it's going to be enough 
for it to create a barrier between the background but we might start with it and see how we go let's just put a piece here and hope for the best <laughs> Now, this does go more transparent as it dries. I loved making these prints with the bubble wrap on tissue. I had so much fun making that. So that's in a different episode. I'll put it under the video in the description if you want to watch it. It's pretty fun. I had a whole frenzy of making papers and now I get to use them. So, you know, that's the point. Uh, that could work. You can't really tell until it's dried, but that's the problem. I love this piece. Yeah, we might need more. Okay. I think we're going to need more. What about some Agoura lace? I've got some. Um, my beautiful friend Jude bought some from off the website in japan and she sold me some off her roll that she bought and i am forever grateful she is absolutely fabulous you really do need friends like this <laughs> because i love it this is really fibrous it's japanese paper it's absolutely beautiful this is just in natural tones now this does also go very transparent so I'm thinking if I put some of this on, uh, you will be able to see all that fabulous background as well. And I think that would help. So yeah, okay, I'm just going to do it. Now remember what I said, if you don't like something, you can just change it. You can collage over it, you can paint over it. There's so many ways to fix something if you're not happy with it. So don't stress out. Love this paper. It does go very transparent. It is very fibrous. That's what I love about it. And seeing as we're having a lot of different textures on this collage, I think it'll work really well. Oh, might need a bit of a haircut. And it does have the beautiful bubble wrap underneath. So it'll be all of these beautiful multiple layers. And at the very bottom is my digital collage paper. You see, I told you, you may or may not see it in the end, but you will see definitely little peaks of it coming through in the layers. And I just love that. Right, I can't wait for this to dry. It'll be so fabulous to see um, if it's enough. Do you think I should wait? <laughs> you, do you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's actually physically possible. Oh, I might wrap it around the side. Yay. I'm going to add some of this on some of the sides because I love the pattern, the colors working. I might even add some of these fabulous circles or some of the writing around the sides just to make it even more interesting while this top section's drying. Yes, I'm going to do that. That's a great idea. Now, how many circles am I going to put on? You haven't answered me. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Far out, that's beautiful. Oh man, how many can I put on? Yep, I'll still keep thinking about it as I finish the sides. Okay, well, it's not actually dry, but it's time to make the decision. Is that light enough to now show off my beautiful collage element, which I'm going to put right there oh my gosh that is beautiful i'm just going to do it i'm going to make the decision and i'm gonna stick it on now i'm going to use my fabulous matte gel medium on the back oh my gosh i can't believe how beautiful these masks came up splattered with alcohol inks actually i can believe it because the colors are just glorious of course, you can do any colour you like. I just happen to do my favourites today. Right. It has worked just beautiful. I think I'll put it right there and then hope that I like it. <laughs> because I know I keep saying I can change it, but it'll be a real pain to pull this off again. So hopefully we're going to like where I put it. Now, sometimes I put the matte medium over the top when I'm gluing something down 
just to seal it. But I don't want to do that with this because I like the shiny look of the alcohol ink on this glorious mask. So I'm not going to run the matte medium over it. I'm just going to push it down with a nice damp soft cloth. So all of the edges are touching the matte gel medium underneath. Oh man, I'm loving it. Look at the glorious texture of it from the brass color. That is just fabulous. Yes, we have to do that again. That was fun. <laughs> man, this is going to be another masterpiece. If you do want any of my paintings, if you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. It's amazing. Just check my website, froilart.com. Have a look in the shop or else email me because sometimes I don't get around to putting them in the shop. But, you know, everything's always for sale because I can't keep everything, right? <laughs> I have hundreds of paintings all over the place. Right. That's fabulous. I'm loving that. Now, the next tough decision is what are we going to do? What did we decide on for this section here? Are we going to use one or two of these? Yes, I think I'm going to use these. Um, I could use this one. But I'm not. I could use this one. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. So it's either going to be one or two. And if it's one, which one? Oh, man. That could be, that could be either. I think one. Yes. All right. See how we're narrowing it down. We're doing well. So it's either going to be that one or that one. You know what we could do? We could put a little bit of red behind it. Yes. All right. Where's my scrap bag? Okay, so the red, my red scrap bag, this has got little pieces of reds in it. And let's have a look at what we can find. Oh, that's a bit pale. What else have we got here? Yeah, that's going to be too busy. That's too boring. Oh, man. Come on, don't fail me now, red scraps. Ooh, I think we've got a winner. Let's get rid of those. What about this piece? This was an overspray of something when I was doing Red Week because that is definitely spraying. So what about if we put that there coming down to the bottom edge? And then we could either use that one, which I think is pretty glam, or... This one's a bit of a fave. What about if we turn it up that way and have the black on the red and then the tip of the red like that? All right, we're narrowing it down. <laughs> righto, righto. Is it gonna be this one? <laughs> oh man, or this one. You know, I don't really think it matters. I think they're both beautiful and they both work Oh, decisions today are tough. Now, I'm loving this entirely. I just think I want something dramatic down the side. I've kept that like that because I, I liked the way the composition had this side and then these papers were on that edge. I just liked it. I just felt like doing that today. Usually, I cover the whole thing, but today I didn't. So, I'm thinking something dramatic. And what I'm thinking of is... A couple of weeks ago, I sprayed some more of these PM Artist Studio stencils and masks. And because I got some beautiful black spray paint and went crazy. So what about if we put some of this on there like that? Like, why not, right? I'm loving that idea. Do we want anything else underneath it or is the underneath background enough? And then if I put that there like that. Um, is this all right then here? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Black on red. I know. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it just happens like that. Um, do we want anything else under there to make it a bit brighter? Some more brighter gold or should we just leave it like that? Maybe we'll just leave it more of those earthy tones. And I think we should do it. I do. All right. I'm going to do it. Oh, what about if we put some of that bubble wrap underneath there? Yeah, we could. All right. We could do that. Maybe a bit of the small 
Oopsies. Maybe some of the small bubble wrap underneath. Like that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. <laughs> you can't stop me now. <laughs> right. So my little collage is dry and I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> Look how fabulous the beautiful mask came up, painted with the alcohol ink. The Agoura lace has now become transparent as it's dried. And you can see the fabulous gold of the um, bubble wrap stencil underneath. You can see my digital collage paper underneath that. The multiple layers are just fabulous. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And this painted stencil on this side. I know, I know, that is a stencil and you're supposed to use it as a stencil. But I love these as collage elements. Absolutely love them. The sides are looking fabulous. I really like contributing really beautiful textures and patterns to the sides because they're important as well. These little ones are like little buttons that I've painted, little off cut bits. I think they look absolutely fabulous. I'm really happy with how these came out. These pieces are just so glorious that I painted with the alcohol inks. I didn't really know that they would come out so fantastic. I'm just loving this. You know I'm going to have to do this again. So I've got all these ones still left over. Yes, I'll probably have to make another canvas at some stage. Not today, but I am really happy with this one. I think it's beautiful. I'm finished with it and I had a fabulous time. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make it. Don't forget to check out my new brand new papers on Etsy, the digital downloads, instant. Hello. <laughs> you gotta love instant. Yay. So come back and join me again next week in the studio. joining me i hope you enjoyed this episode i know i did <laughs> you'll find more of the information in the links in the description under the video so see you next week mm -hmm.